Hi, I wanted to do a quick video on this sinew um, baton uh, baseball bat flashlight. Now, I've seen lots of videos on this showing its light quality, and yes, it's very, very bright. It's brighter than, say, the lead lens uh, um, P72, but you don't buy this for its light quality. You buy this for really one thing only. And this is, a, to me, a home self-defense weapon. And as of yet, I haven't seen any videos showing what, how to use this kind of thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into the ins and outs of its, yeah, how bright it is, how long the batteries last, so on, so on. I just want a yeah, quick instruction video on how to use something like this. Let's face it, you use this when you hear some kind of trouble, you know, you're in your bedroom, sleeping, whatever, you get woken up and you hear trouble. Best thing to do, phone the police. Phone the police, there's possibly someone in your house. But not everyone does that and some people just wanna know what's going on. Now, if you're gonna go downstairs, I know it's got light, but why are you gonna use that? You've got house lights. So, you go down with this in your hand. And all the videos I've seen of people holding this, they stand like this. That's great. But apart from one thing, if you're in a confined place like a house, you go to walk around a corner with this in front of you, what? anyone is gonna grab it. You don't stick this out in front of you. I know lots of people go, yeah, come on. But from here, how are you gonna hit someone? You're gonna do this. Why go backwards to go forwards? It makes zero sense. If you have to walk down the stairs or through a corridor or look around a corner, keep it in your back hand. Use the landline, which is, you know, comes with the, um, comes with it, because you can always keep it in your hand. If you walk downstairs, keep it behind you. If you keep it behind you, then you can strike and all the movement is forward. It builds up that momentum, which gives it power and you can hit. So keep it behind you. Keep the hand out in front. You want to keep distance from someone in front of you. You don't do this. Someone does that to me, oh, I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab that threatening weapon, whatever it may be, out of their hands, you know. So, you keep it behind you. You keep your hand at arm's distance. If someone's there, you can push, and then you can hit. Okay, you don't have to do a fancy floors at the end, but that comes from years of martial arts training. Filipino martial arts at that. So, you keep it behind you. You look round a corner, if you're not sure someone's in a room, you keep your hand out. Because then, you can use that as a barrier. Someone grabs your hand, bang! Hit their arm. If you hit their arm, you'll break it with this. It weighs almost half a kilo, and when you do that, it's gonna hurt. It's got these really nasty kind of serrations machined into it. So, someone grabs your hand, whack! You hit their hand. Remember, if they can only grab your hand, they can't grab your weapon. And this is a weapon. So, you can then hit, hit, bang. I'm not saying that I would never have this out in front of me, but the only time I ever would is if everything is open. Because then, and even then, I wouldn't hold it like this. Because as I've said before, you have to bring it back to strike. Um, it, it just makes no sense. Because in the time, if you've got anyone who's trained who knows what they're doing, in the time you bring it back, you're going to get hit. So, if I had to keep it out in front of me, I would keep it like this. And this is from um, a Filipino martial art called Kali or a screamer or armor, depend. Now from here, I can hit so fast you won't see it, but I would hit like this. 
And let's face it, if you're out in a big, wide, open space, that no longer is defending yourself. You're actually going after someone, in, and that's legal terms, big nightmare. But if you had to use one of these, keep it behind you. Keep it on the rear hand, because that's where it's going to gather momentum and hit. So, use a lanyard, which is there, so if it was to drop out of your hands, you know where it is, you can grab it. So, rear hand, someone's in front, bang, you can hit. Someone grabs your hand, you can hit the hand. Remember, the head isn't necessarily the only target. If you were to hit someone's arm and you break it, they're not gonna fight. They're gonna run away, you know, scared, stiff, screaming about how bad their arm hurts. So, this, remember, is only a last, a last ditch attempt. You really should be phoning the police, you know, turn on the lights, shout down, I'm phoning the police, and hopefully these people will go. But just in case you do go downstairs or there's no other way, hold it like this, rear hand, and then you can hit. Don't keep it out like this. You know, I'm... Okay, I'm a martial arts instructor, I can grab that quickly. Out of 90% of people's hands, I'll be able to grab that before they can hit me with it. Or I can kick it out of their hand. Something like that. But, rear hand, you can hit, hit. Just keep it rear. Okay. But there you go. If you, to be fair, as a light, it is fantastic. Um, one of these things you can keep beside the bed, you know, power goes out, you still got a light. But it is, so far from what I've seen of it, it's a cracking bit of kit. It's got enough weight that it actually, you know, will do some damage. It's made very, very nicely. Everything's all, all the screw threads fit tightly, fit tightly. there's all o-ring seals. So, there you go. But that's just my recommendations, if you were ever to have to use one of these. Rear hand hand out, because that stops someone from entering your space. If they get this close, you're gonna to struggle to use that. I'm not saying you can't, but I'm gonna say that you're gonna struggle. You want to keep them away from this weapon. This weapon gives you distance, so you keep them away with that hand. And practice, when you have it, practice hitting forward. You know, if you're flash, you can practice like this. So like a figure of, you know, you're going from here to here. So you're going there, there. If any of you ever studied Kali, you will know exactly what this is. So you can hit. You can also block and do many other things, but we're not going to get into that. Okay, hope you enjoyed this uh, little review. Bye.